Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. I don't know about you, but I live close to a fire station and I often hear sirens all the time going down my busy street. I know that the firefighters are there to rescue people and put out fires, so I appreciate that. But I do hear those sirens all the time. Is that one right now? No. So, kind of in honor of that, and today actually being uh, Firefighters National Memorial Day, which is held the second Sunday in September, and today being Sunday, September 12th, 2021, I thought I would read a book about firefighters, and in particular, this Firehouse by Mark Teague. This book was copyright in 2010. Firehouse. Edward wants to be a firefighter. One day he and Judy visit a firehouse. Edward tries on a shiny red fire hat. Mrs. Speckle, the fire chief, shows them around. First, you can help wash the fire truck, she says. Later, we will have a practice fire drill. Everyone helps. A clean fire engine is a happy fire engine, says a firefighter. Edward climbs into the driver's seat. He steers to the right. He steers to the left. This is where we live, says a firefighter. Suddenly the alarm rings. Oh no. This is a fire drill calls the fire chief. The firefighters spring into action. Everyone hurries down the fire pole. Hang on, Edward. A firefighter calls. The fire engine speeds away. Judy opens the fire hydrant. The water is so strong it knocks Edward off his feet. Everyone works together. Edward practices going up the ladder. But he needs help coming down. Life-saving is a firefighter's most important job. They return to the firehouse. After lunch, the alarm rings again. This time it was a real emergency. A kitten is stuck up a tree. Who will save her, asks the firefighter. Edward volunteers, let me. Edward climbs the ladder and rescues the kitten. Good work, the firefighters cheer. Edward saves a day. There is a big parade to celebrate. A firefighter needs rest. It is bedtime at the firehouse. The end. Yes, a good story. People and animals were saved. And that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. 
I hope you enjoyed that story and we'll see you next time. And thank you very much for the firefighters and first responders that save people's and animals' lives. Bye for now.